What is going on guys? It's Travis. Welcome back to another Hero's Journey. And in this journey, we'll be unboxing the cheapest A7S III that I saw used on MPB.com. One of the go-to used camera sites on the internet. Now, this camera was listed for $2,109. As opposed to a brand new A7S III, which is around $3,500. Saw a lot of other used options for around probably $3,000, 28 dollars to $3,200. So I was kind of taking a gamble, but long story short, and also I don't know if you've uh, figured this out yet, but I'm recording this audio after the fact because this first little chunk of audio, for whatever reason, Murphy's Law decided to rear its ugly head and my Rode Video Micro has this crazy background uh, shizzle on. Is that a Snoop Dogg word? This like just constantly in the background for the first, I don't know, five minutes of the video. And then it decided to go away. And so I was like, oh, hmm, well, that's new. So fun, a new issue. Can't beat it. Well, anyway, so I'm going to try to pretend that I know what I'm talking about during this beginning part. But this camera, this is my first experience buying a used camera from a company like this. It's like KAH. Um, these companies now are specializing in buying and selling used camera gear and equipment. So looking at the pictures of this camera when I before I bought it, it looks pretty beat up for sure. I was definitely, uh, cosmetically, it looked like it had been through the ringer. It was a young orphan, an orphan boy who needed a home, you know, a little puppy at the pound who, you know, had been through some stuff, needed a home. And I figured because I realized that the only B cam for the A7S III that would fit all my needs is another A7S III. So I concluded that I would have to spend another billion dollars to buy an A7S III. I rehashed the idea of used and realized that there's a pretty big a group of people in the world that buy used cameras and that's not a horrible idea usually though the pricing so different it doesn't make that much sense especially if you're a professional or you really just don't want to mess around but again because I needed another $3,500 camera I went to the used so essentially I'm getting this 40% off and I was willing to take the risk here so Let's see how this goes while I unbox the A7S III used for $2,100.09 with tax and a little bit of a year or two of drop protection from MPV's uh, side company who helps with that. It came out to around $2,500 all said and done tax, etc. Pretty much $1,000 to $1,500 cheaper than new or even the other pretty used ones. So... Let us uh, see if he can figure out how to get this uh, wrapping out of the box. There you go. Good job. Oh, and there she is. Now, there's a few little goodies that uh, I'm going to uncover here as well that came with the package. But um, we're just actually going to skip ahead really quick with some movie magic. And here we go. We are fast forwarding very quickly. There is a battery. The battery is very beat up. There is a, a top rig, a small handle thing, the charger, and then the moment of truth, the A7S III. And it also came with a aluminum small rig cage around it, which is pretty cool. Um, I do have the small rig magnesium cage, which is like epic. So it's definitely uh, way better than this cage. Now I'm just checking all the ratchets and the uh, closures and stuff. And I'm realizing from the get go that this thing has definitely been through the ringer, but it is a lot less cosmetically beat up than I anticipated. So let's kind of dive a little deeper as I take off the camera cage and then we see how this guy turned out. All right guys, we're actually gonna go a little bit further now because there was still a little bit of crackle in this uh, in these clips right here this clip I mean and again I'm a little upset at the old Rode video micro because this thing is usually super bulletproof 
but for some reason it acted up like I've never seen before so um but yeah this is the first uh, look at it and I mean just I'm looking at it right like this it's pretty freaking amazing I mean I'm just trying to see if there's anything really wrong with it it's a little crickly a little uh you can tell it's been you know it's been through the ringer um gives it character though gives it spunk now here's where I realized that this the slide out uh, flippy screen thing is a little loose looking on the video though as I'm watching it doesn't look as bad as I initially thought and I'm realizing um I don't know if that'd be the deal breaker to, to not keep it again I'm saving a thousand bucks I think I can deal with a teeny bit of wobble there and the internet did show me that I can fix that also the uh, great a7s3 decides now to get a little bit out of focus which also makes me very sad um, and again this is a great reason why I really am stoked on having two a7s3s now because first it's hard to match the a7s3 with other things because it's a very unique camera and sensor and look um, and secondly just having that second, ang second angle, angle gives you safety in terms of like this shot is slightly out of focus I'm gonna sharpen it probably um, second angle will help that um, now just continue, continually looking at it and oh I got my focus uh, finally back Th these pictures looked made it look like it was beat up AF this video though makes it look awesome the one tiny Achilles heel is this flippy screen's a little loose which again the internet says I can fix but it does require a teeny bit of processing and a little bit of sketchiness. So I'll probably hold off on that for the time being and make sure the camera works in other realms and just record a bunch of stuff to see if it works and then go from there. I'm pointing out that the hot shoe mount is uh, looking great. Everything here is looking great. And soon we're going to have a sensor reveal. Let's check back in to see if I got my audio figured out or not. All right, let's see. Let the camera get the true moment of truth here. True moment of truth for you, camera. How's it looking there? I'm scared to look. Drop a comment. How are we looking? Oh, I see one or two little particles, but they look like little hairs, which I can definitely take off. I guess I'll clean that thing up. All right. You know what we're gonna do now is a uh, quick, one more quick movie magic. Now it's definitely not a one take wonder, but we're going to, um, and before I even do that, so I'm gonna give this like, I mean, based on what I thought it was gonna look like, just looking at it, not really. It's a little teeny bit rattly with some of the stuff. Actually, it's not too bad. I think I just didn't have that closed. That's a little, not perfect, but there's been some abuse there, a little bit of abuse. But but compared to what it looked like in the pictures, this thing is um way nicer than it looked in the pictures. I mean, you could easily just show up at this thing and it looks really nice. I'm debating if I'm gonna try like, see there's little things like this, like that on the bottom. Little scrapes and stuff. But in the pictures, it looked a lot worse. In person, it looks a lot better. Really manageable. And I might even put the small rig cage on here just to just distinguish it a little bit. Yeah, the pictures really enhance a lot of these little the little parts that make it like messed up. So that's nice. All right, quick movie magic. We're just going to turn it on and make see if it works. Well, I turned it on and it works, but the batteries, I used the battery they gave me. The battery's dead. I'm going to put in a new battery, put a lens on it, and just look through the lens and see if um see if it's gonna work or whatever. So, and so far, the, my only main complaint is this thing's a little rickety, the uh, pull out thing, I can maybe tighten that, but beggars can't be choosers and the used ones from lens rentals and stuff, like all this stuff's real rickety and this thing is actually in really good shape. For $2,100, I expected this thing to be a lot more beat up. 
it looks actually amazing. Um, <laughs> all right, let's see if it turns on with the lens and can work. All right, and we're back with the marvels of movie magic. So we have a lens on it, cards in there. I put a full battery in there. Quick side note, I looked at the sensor again after a quick dusty, dust uh, blow in there. Sensor actually is super clean. There's a few random hairs. Um, probably couldn't even see it, but after the little blower, now you can't see nothing. All right, let's see, turn on, turned on. All right, so so far the only little downside is the little flippy screen's a little loose. I wonder if tightening that is gonna work or not. But besides that, it is awesome. For 2100 bucks, you can't really beat this. And if there's no crazy flaws, because cosmetically it's really great, just with the internal stuff, um, it'll be a win. So, all right, MBD, MPD, MBD. First, uh, first impressions are very nice. Very nice job. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. This looks pretty awesome. Um, for 2109, this, I did not expect it to be in this good a condition. And that's pretty cool. The pictures made it look a lot more beat up. So those pictures, take them with a grain of salt because it's like any picture, you're close up on little scratches and stuff. They're gonna look bigger than they are in real life, usually. And as long as like the this isn't scratched, the viewfinder is not scratched, the sensor is good, and the internals are overall good, that's the main important things. So really quick, we're gonna see if we can tighten this little part, and I'll wrap up the quick unboxing of uh, the cheapest A7S III I could find on the internet. All right, so we are attempting to tighten this thing a little bit. I think it actually might be tightening. Let's see. You know what? I think I just fixed this a teeny bit. It's a little loose, but I think that's maybe the one thing that is why it was cheaper. But again, now I'm just being OCD about this one little aspect. I did tighten it a little bit. If I wasn't hearing this crackle as much, right there, just like that. Oh, mine is kind of like that, okay. You know, it's not even that bad. I put a little bit of WD-40 in there, help it up. It's a little looser than I would have liked, but again, um, that's the one tiny part I've seen. I thought maybe these scratches are gonna be gnarlier. They're not, it's all really good shape. And again, I'm gonna wrap it up there. We've been yapping on long enough. Hold on one second there, buddy. What's going on, guys? Editor Travis here. And unfortunately, I'm gonna have to let you guys in on a secret. I ended up not keeping this camera now few things, I'm actually going to try out the ZV-1 as the companion to the A7S III. Didn't really understand that it's basically a mini A7S III. And also this experience taught me that, you know, you got to get, when you're buying such an expensive item, maybe it's worth it spending a little more to get the, a brand new, maybe it's not. But for my own case use right now, I realize that I do need another A7S III. But I actually wouldn't mind a smaller body, etc. And this ZV-E1... Besides a few issues that could arise, I think for me, actually, it could prove pretty great. So we'll see how that goes uh, later on in a future video. But for now, again, thank you to this company. They did a great job uh, accepting my return and sending me this. And again, just couldn't really justify still the, the bigger price point. I also had one or two little funny issues. Like when I recorded the first time and I put the memory card in the Mac Studio right there, it like kind of didn't really work and then I was like oh no so I didn't format the card and then I just that kind of started like a weird spiral of like oh maybe this camera isn't for me maybe I should spend the same amount by brand new ZV-1 or you know what you gonna do so all right guys again thanks to the company and still I think buying used gear is great um this one just didn't work out for me but thanks for watching till next time peace